Hello, hello everyone. Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here. Gonna do a quick review of the week and just some of my trades and the lessons. Um, right off the bat, one thing I noticed this week, mainly what we were trading were multi-day bounces. But with that, I really kind of got an idea, a better idea of what to look for sometimes with a multi-day bounce. And what it was this week was the selling that goes on. Just because it takes off over 150%, and it does pull back. If there really is not selling and shorts in that play, um, that were trapped, that could you know get squeezed when the bottom is in. There is really, really isn't any fuel, and it could be just that there's not enough buyers to keep the play going. But there really aren't that many sellers, and what we're really looking for are shorts to get trapped in this. So when they're up 30, 50, 70 percent. And it starts bottoming out, they're locking in profits and dip buyers come in, you get that nice push. For example, here's GRNQ. Not really doing anything here after a beautiful push. And then there's ILAG, which had a nice push as well. Not much selling here on the way down. And just a week, couple days, trying to bottom out, but can't do anything. Not enough strength behind it. Even though it is a low flow. Um, now watch one of these plays just take off this week, but so far what we're noticing this week, the plays that have more volume, more selling going on, um, on the way down, those are going to be the ones that have a decent push. We got BNSO here, some decent selling going on, strong push. Um, of course, every once in a while you'll find one that isn't like that but here's another one decent selling fails to break down around a whole dollar half whole dollar half dollar area you get the squeeze um so i don't want to spend too much time on that but just something i am recognizing and here's one that we're going to be looking for it's on the watch list we have decent selling here after a nice push we'll be looking for shorts to get squeezed and this is a super low flow um so that's really been the case this week. Main four out of my seven trades were multi-day bounces here. One, two, three, four. One failure on the open price play. And then we had a breakout on ILAG on the way up. That was pretty good. I didn't have that much size in it, which is why I was patient and got bigger percent gains than usual. But you know, it's just what we're usually talking about. Looking for the float, looking for what has demand behind it it's holding trend failing to break down here we got the breakout was it one second on the ACI yeah, it was this day when it confirmed oh yeah I remember this one now it had the nice push after hours and then it came back failed to break down and we got that confirmation shorts couldn't break this down and then they got squeezed um it's really that simple sometimes you're just looking for that initial initial jump you just need some shorts to get caught in there and then from there who knows how i how high it could go as long as shorts keep getting trapped and it fails to break down that's why we look at the volume the demand the trend if it's still intact shorts could continue to keep getting squeezed so even though it was coming back after a nice push to five in my eyes if it came back, failed to break down, which is what happened. I was going to see that as a failure for shorts to break this play down and that it will be a confirmed breakout. So, that's the lesson from that one. Um, why we focus on trend and demand, because that's how you're going to get shorts tripping, uh, slipping. You're going to get them on, get them on the wrong leg and they're just going to get squeezed. Sometimes, it doesn't last as long as you'd expect, but that's why we also keep an eye on topping action, on volume. How high is it bursting from the previous high? Is there volume behind that push to new highs? Um, but yeah, so this week really, even though I did let my gains run a bit more than usual, and my loss here was just less than 2%, I think execution-wise this week was really good. I was very picky. There were a decent amount of plays. But all I really did was stick to what was on my watch list. And when I didn't, I took a loss. CLWT. I don't think that was on a watch list. That was a play gapping up, just 
trying to catch the open price of EWAP Proclaim. Didn't work out. And yeah, so this week what really worked for me was ignoring the noise, sticking to what was on my watch list, and being patient. I missed a lot of plays. In the meantime, with some of these plays, like QNRX, I'm pretty sure that spiked late day. Could have got it. There was other plays beforehand that I could have got as well. But I was focused, and I think that's why I'm also letting my plays run when I'm I'm able to recognize when it's working in my favor because I'm just so focused on it the whole time. Key levels and whatnot, the way it moves and judging all that. Um, the noise and being picky this week has helped. And it's also helped that recently there were a lot of spikers, so a lot of multi-day bounces, and it's one of my favorite patterns. So that also helped keep me patient as well. Um, but yeah, I think that that would be it for wrapping up the week. And going into this week, we're going to just continue to do the same thing. Um, good risk-reward. Be picky. Right now, top plays. I already got the watch us out. Top plays are going to be probably HLBZ and MEGO. These are other top plays here, but I like these two a lot more. Just bread and butter patterns. Just looking for the multi-day bounce. Um, so we'll just wrap it up. Don't get FOMO. Be picky. Ignore the noise. If you miss something, there's going to be another play. If not that day, the day after, that week. Um, so in the meantime, study, improve, be immersed in the market, understand how these plays work, how the market works. So when it is time, you do have the money and your play is setting up right, you maximize your opportunity. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of rambling now. We'll just wrap this up. Hope everyone had a great week as well or learned something. Um, I got the video lesson going over the top plays as well. I need to upload that right now. Besides that, hope everyone had a great weekend. Rest it up, learn something, and get ready to attack this new week. Have a great one.